What's going on out there gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with another solo money glitch. Now, here's the thing. For all of you that are going to say that this might not be solo for Xbox, we do have to join a friend. But that friend does not know you need to be joining him. In my, in my eyes, that's not a, a two-player glitch, okay? So that's, that's the first thing I want to say, all right? Is that on PlayStation, you don't need to join a friend. You guys are going to be using your recent activity. But for Xbox, we do have to join a friend. But like I said, that friend doesn't have to know that you're using them. That friend just has to be online, and it doesn't matter what targeting mode they're in. Some people were saying that for Xbox, we had to use a friend in a different targeting mode. That does not matter, okay? You just need to join a friend. That's it. We just need to get one alert. Uh, so, yeah, in my eyes, for both consoles, this is a solo glitch, okay? So, here it is. It's a solo money glitch. You can also transfer outfits with this. This is the director mode glitch, guys. It's back. It's not the SP to MP. That one is gone, okay? So... Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here's the setup for the glitch. You're going to want to go over to your second character, alright? In my case, it's my female character. This is where you would put the outfits on. This is where you would put the apartment, the expensive apartments, okay? So, these are the uh, the apartments that you want to set up. Alright, so you want to set up the three most expensive apartments, which are the three penthouse suites for Eclipse Towers, okay? And you're going to want to put them in slots 4, 5, and 6, as you can see right here. All the three most expensive apartments in slots 4, 5, and 6, okay? Those are the, the prices that will transfer over to your male character or your main character. And once again, if you're doing this for the outfits, you would be putting the outfits on this character, and then they will be transferred over to the other one, okay? So now I'm swapping character, and I'm going back to my main character, which is my male. This is the one where we get the modded outfits on. This is the one where we get the money on, all right? So... Once we've spawned down as our male character, and by the way, these, this whole thing buying the apartments, you only have to do this one time in the beginning. After that, you can just keep doing this, rinsing, repeating over and over again, and you can keep getting the money. You're going to get about a million and a half each time you do this, okay? So you're going to buy the three cheapest properties right here in slots four, five, and six, as you can see right there. The three cheapest on your main character, okay? And that's the whole setup. Once you buy those, that's it. You only had to do that once. Now, you can go ahead and leave GTA Online and go back to story. Now, I ended up closing out my game and then restarting and then going into story and, you know, proceeding with the glitch. What you can do, actually, is go to story, load up a game save, just any other game save. Uh, it can be an auto save, I think, or a regular one. But yeah, so once you're there, you can go into director mode. If you're hitting director mode and going straight into the prologue, that's because you didn't either close your game or load up a new game save data or a new, you know, saved game because you were online previously, okay? You can't go into direct mode if you've been previously online. That's why we had to either close the game or load up a new uh, save game. So now once you're in director mode, you're gonna go ahead and go to settings and you're gonna activate explosive bullets, all right? Now you're gonna go to actors, go to story characters, and you're gonna go and hover over Brad. Once we're on Brad, let him spawn in right there. Now go ahead and back out of that part, press B, press B, and then go ahead and enter director mode, all right? That is the setup for this part of the glitch. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of fails, first of all, because this glitch is all about timing, and to be honest, it's kind of random. I've been testing this for a few hours now, and it's really not the most consistent, but it does work, okay? And it does work for Xbox. This has been confirmed. It works for Xbox. It came out as PS4 only, but it is working for Xbox. I can confirm this. I've hit it twice, and you're going to see it in this video. So, what I recommend is shooting at a wall. I saw people shooting at the ground. I've had more success shooting at the wall. So, here's what you're going to see now. I'm going to shoot at the wall. It's going to, you know, bounce me back. Now, it's frozen right here because I'm opening up my Xbox dashboard and I'm hitting join friend. So, once I hit join friend, it's going to put me back to GTA right here. And now I'm going to hold the select button to open up your interaction menu. Just hold it. And right when the screen flickers, you're going to want to hit A and let go of the select button. That was it in slow motion just so I can explain it, okay? Now if you fail, you're gonna end up just going right back to the director mode trailer like this, hit enter director mode again, and try again. So, these are gonna be a few fails just to show you guys what it looks like, okay? And that it is not the easiest glitch to hit, it's all about timing. Now the timing is about five seconds from that point, all right? You can wait till the black screen. I didn't even wait till the black screen most of the time. I just did it a little bit before, but Right now, I'm going to my dashboard, I hit join friend, I got the alert, 
right when I come back to GTA, I'm holding the interaction menu and I'm hitting A to accept that alert and I'm letting go of the interaction menu at the same time. The screen is going to flicker, okay? Or the alert's going to flicker. You're going to see it right over here on this last attempt. Now, PlayStation, you guys, instead of going to join a friend, you're actually activating a recent activity, and that's what's going to shoot you back into the director mode part, and you guys are backing out of that alert while letting go of the select button. So here we go. Dashboard, join friend. Now I'm holding the select button when I come back, and then I'm hitting A to accept the alert at the same time. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you saw that flicker? That's when you're really supposed to accept the alert and let go of the select button, all right? So that select button, guys, that's the interaction menu. This is a successful attempt right here. So I actually opened up my dashboard there, but I didn't like that positioning, so I opened it up again and then right there. So I'm gonna do this here, joining a friend. Now, go ahead, yep, so this is about five seconds right here that it's gonna take to flicker. And you see, I ended up letting go of my select button and accepting that alert at the same time, and check it out. I end up spawning. This is one way that you can spawn and you know you're glitched out when you can actually walk around the trailer, okay? So if that's a little confusing for you guys, I'll explain it right now. Once you join friend or activate recent activity and you're back to GTA, hold the interaction menu button. Hold that select button and then you're waiting for that screen to flicker, that alert to flicker, and you're accepting that alert while letting go of the interaction menu. Okay, that's how you're doing this. PlayStation, you guys are activating the recent activity. When you come back, holding the interaction menu button, and you guys are pressing circle at the same, t uh, and then you guys will press circle and let go of the interaction menu at the same time, okay, when that screen flickers. Okay, so here we go again. So I'm coming back, open up my dashboard right now, hitting join friend. When I come back, holding the select button, and I'm waiting to accept the alert. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. You saw that it flickered and I ended up accepting the alert, but it, it was a little bit too late. Now, that's why I actually still ended up right over here. So here is the successful attempt, okay? You're gonna see it right here. Now, here we go. So we're spawning in, we have explosive bullets ready to go, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the wall. And when it kicks me back, I don't wait till the black screen. I actually just kind of right before that black screen would really come up. So right there, it was about to come up. I went dashboard, join friend. I'm gonna be put back into GTA, holding select button, waiting, 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 accept, let go select button. And check that out. That's the second way that you can actually uh, end up all glitched out. You end up with the director mode tag on the top right and you're walking around. Right now I know I'm glitched. You can go ahead and proceed with the glitch now for the money, uh, for the apartment transfer, as well as the modded outfits transfer. They both work together, guys, in tandem for this glitch, okay? So once you know you're all glitched out and you're ready to go with the glitch, you're gonna go ahead and press start and you're gonna go to choose character. So press start, go to the online tab and scroll down or up, whichever one you want, and you're gonna go ahead and select choose character. Now, once you're on choose character, accept that alert, go ahead, it's all good. You're still gonna have that director mode tag in the top right, as you can see. Now, once we get into the choose character, you're gonna go ahead and select your second character, the one with the expensive apartments, okay? The one with the expensive apartments and the female components that we're gonna be transferring over to the male character. All right, so director mode in the top right, that's what you wanna see, that's the tag. Now, once you select your second character with the expensive apartments and the components you want to transfer to your main character, you're gonna go ahead and start loading into GTA Online. Now, you're gonna end up getting an alert. Once you're at that alert, you're just gonna accept it, so. Here we go. I'm going to get the alert real soon. Now, I've gotten the alert. I've timed out. You're going to go ahead and accept that. And at this point, it's going to start loading you into story mode, still with the director tag. Now, right there, I quit my game. I completely quit the app. Now, on Xbox, we have to go delete our game save data, load back into GTA, and then we're actually going to stop the sync. So cancel and then stop sync. And you're going to end up right here at the dis display calibration. Accept it. PlayStation, you guys can hold L1 and R1 and then you guys will get the display calibration and you can go ahead and go straight into online from there. For us, we're gonna load into the prologue. Some people can go ahead and go straight online on Xbox. For me, I've always had to go into the prologue. So now that I'm in the prologue, I'm gonna end up quitting my game again, quitting GTA completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close the app right about here and then I'm gonna reload it. Now, once I've reloaded it, I'm gonna let it sync this time and it's gonna ask me, where do you wanna sync from? I'm gonna hit from this console. You wanna hit sync from this console. Okay, not from the uh, cloud or from anything like that, from this console. Now we're gonna load into story mode now. All right, doesn't matter who you are for this glitch, by the way, it works on pretty much every character from what I've seen. So now we're gonna go ahead and 
press start, go to online, and you're going to go ahead and play GTA Online invite only. Now, this is where we are, PlayStation. After you guys uh, reset your catch and you guys got the display calibration, you're here. Go to online invite only, accept the Rockstar Games policies, and it's going to go ahead and start loading you online. Now, it takes a little bit, so I'm just forwarding through this so the video is not way too long. And now, I'm back to my main character. This is where the outfits have already transferred over, so check your outfits. If you made some modded outfits, they should have transferred over, and as well as the apartments. The expensive prices of the apartments have all transferred over. This is the money glitch right here. So buy the cheap, three cheapest apartments. You see over slots four, five, and six. I just made 523 grand right there. Go ahead and go to the next lowest apartment that you can buy. Buy it over one of the other slots, four, five, and six. I got $467,000 for that one. Now one more, $26,000 apartment, buy it over this one, boom, 426 grand. So I just made about a million and a half dollars just like that. So that is the apartments glitch. That is the, you know, the modded outfits. This is director mode, okay? This is the legit director mode glitch that a lot of people have been waiting for for a little while now. And it's, it's hittable on both consoles and it is solo, guys. That friend does not know that you need to be joining him. He's just gotta be online. You don't need to be talking to him. And in my eyes, that is a solo glitch, okay? So yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope everyone learned something. Make sure to slap that like button by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 2,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for 1,000. Let's keep it going. Peace out, everybody. Okay.